first time home buyer sometimes it could be very nerve-wracking visiting different homes and searching for the right builder one thing i want to pop out there you need to do your research ask about the builder ask about the experience in purchasing the home we're first time home buyers we just purchased our new home um, we were one of the first to visit the community and the experience was amazing i wanted to ask some questions for you so you could actually hear and you could feel what it feels like to visit a builder who has such like a lot of experience they've been building for a long time you could feel and hear how the customer service is when it comes to first-time home buyers or whether or not you're someone looking to purchase another home if you have a, a home right now on the market and you're looking to move innisville is beautiful and also the anchor site is amazing yeah <laughs> Can I have my phone please saying I need to create this video? <laughs> okay, but you're just gonna take the airplane and then next time we take the airplane and then I come to you to do the It's like leave Toronto. Um the do the do chicken. <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? Can I create my video, please? Hello, beautiful souls. I am finally here to give you an update for that one year review on living here in Alberta. Most of you have been asking me questions because you are now considering moving up to the West. The government of Alberta, I think they have a campaign right now going on for about $2.6 million trying to attract people in Toronto to move over to the West. Given the prices of the house costs in Toronto in comparison to Alberta. Alberta home prices is about one third the cost of Toronto and I could tell you everything about that because I have visited from million dollar homes within Ontario from Trenton to Belleville to Muskoka. I have visited a lot of pre-construction homes and I am going to do a comparison of the life in Toronto and in Alberta. If if you want to find out more information on whether or not this transition would be ideal for you, your family, for working, follow my journey because I decided to create this platform where I could educate you basically what I am actually doing, what it is like for me living in Alberta and I hope you guys stick around for this video. I fell in love with Alberta and a lot of things about there. Don't forget I have another YouTube platform that is Darcy King Organics where I make all my beautiful products i have skincare products i also have a hair care brand and this was only possible with me transitioning here and seeing what alberta had to offer on this platform you will also get to see me launching a new brand this is a home decor brand we actually have our beautiful candles we have decided to include the leave-in the lifestyle here in alberta the different home staging that i am doing some real estates as you all know i love real estate and decluttering and my candle business you're getting a chance to see a lot of the different homes different apartments i am going to take you different communities within alberta you could research on and see whether or not this is the ideal place for you for those of you just joining me if you don't know my name is darcy kin i am actually from toronto canada my origins caribbean descent i know a lot of you hear the accent and you're like okay which caribbean island is she from i'm from the beautiful island of St. Lucia migrated to Canada I believe about 2008 2009 until I decided to make this big transition last year during the COVID pandemic I drove from Toronto to Calgary because I have a dear friend in Calgary he has a beautiful family his son is going to be the next 
basketball superstar. I believe that. Go and marry him. <laughs> um, his wife has a beautiful business for sweet sake. You guys could check out her hot cocoa bombs and she makes beautiful cakes. So my intention was to move to Calgary. I drove from Toronto. We took the Canada Trans Highway and we drove the most beautiful scenery. If you guys are moving to the West, drive because you do not want to miss that beautiful scenery coming to Alberta. It's beautiful. Don't take the plane, drive, trust me. However, you would have to pay gas fees about ranging close to a thousand dollars for that uh, 34 hour commute. Okay. So we came on to Calgary. I visited the Banff. The Banff is so beautiful. I got a hotel, the mountains and the water. It made me feel like I was back in the Caribbean because in the Caribbean, we have tropical weather. It is so beautiful. Streams of water, everything was really good until we decided to visit a restaurant. Now, do know I am a bit concerned about pricing when it comes to going to a restaurant. So, you know, we're on a budget, decided to sit at the restaurant. Then the check came. I looked at the fees and the, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. The taxes were so low. I was like, hell yeah, I'm moving to Alberta. <laughs> When I visit a restaurant like Jack Astor's or Moxie's, trust me, after paying like $100, you have like the $30 or $20 extra to pay. Plus, you have to think about tipping those wonderful servers that take the time to prepare the meals for you. It costs a lot of money. However, in the band, thinking it would be a place that would be very expensive, it was very affordable. I don't even feel we spent $60 and it was, you could see the meal was wow and the presentation was wow the customer service was phenomenal it was superb but to tell you the truth i just did not feel no that was not the vibes i was looking for it just felt too much like a vacation for me i drove to calgary spent one day in calgary and i was like you know something let me drive over to edmonton to see what Edmonton has to offer. I called my friend up. He wanted to take me to a fine dine restaurant. He and his wife. I was like, no, I think we're gonna head over to Edmonton because I just wanted something very laid back in the backyard, just very, I am gravitating more to trees and grass and just living very quiet. I thought Calgary was just not giving me the feel. But then I cannot give a full evaluation on that specific day because I did not get a chance to navigate throughout the city. I went to the downtown, saw what they had to offer, and I was like, no, that's just not it. So I took a trip to Edmonton. As soon as I arrived at Edmonton, I swear, God was speaking to me. I don't know if it is an angel from above just squeezed my heart and it felt so warm and felt so welcoming and it said, this is home. Even though I saw flat fields with no houses and anything, I felt comfortable. I felt very welcoming and I was like, wow, something I'm feeling nice. I really like it. I really love something about it. Then we arrived at the city. It looked plain and dead to me. Trust me, it looked dead to me. However, I fell in love with the city of Edmonton and I was like, wow, I, I am loving this. Something about it is yes. So this is in August of 2021, right? We drove through Edmonton, got a chance, you know, we stayed at the Hotel Marriott Hotel. We got a chance to visit one of the largest malls, I believe in North America, which is the West Edmonton Mall. You can get every single thing at this mall. There is a golf course for you and your family. There is a, like this beautiful wave pool, a lot of stars, like so many things you could think about. There is a galaxy fair, like the Canada's Wonderland in Toronto. Everything was in that mall if you have children there are paintings for the kids like i got so many things that i was not getting in one specific location in toronto also purchasing clothing like h&m and zara i felt the taxes was a bit more affordable for me this really feels good i am in toronto living in a one bedroom apartment paying too much money and here I'm looking at a place where I could save money on clothing and this could be the ideal place for me. Okay, I drove back to Toronto. 
back at work and this feeling just said coming things is not working now remember i am working a really good job in toronto i'm in the social work industry and this feeling is like you gotta move you have to move you have to move in order for you to make your business grow in order for you to take care of your finances you cannot afford another apartment in toronto right even though i was saving for a home in toronto i could tell you i visited a pre-construction for about 489,000, and this was my job i'm like yes and this is the home i am getting however the beating that is going on in toronto was killing it 2020 2021 beating was people selling their homes at 400,000, and then somebody got it for six hundred thousand dollars. i was like there is no way i could afford a home in toronto Toronto. Plus, I started looking for apartments. My co workers started assisting me. My supervisor started assisting me. They're like, hey, Darcy, did you check this um, place? I said, I just called. It's $2,500. And I was like, no. And I was looking for a specific apartment because, again, I have a small business that I want to come into fruition. I don't know what happened, what came over me. I gotta move. I am crying, I am pulling out my hair, I'm saying to myself, Lord, what do I do? I listened, honestly, I listened. I don't even feel I gave a proper resignation because I did not know what I was doing. I'm calling my manager, I was like, I think I'll be leaving the job. I think I need some time away. I, I just, I'm just going through so much. Even though I spoke to my manager, I spoke to the director of the company I've, I've been working for, yes. I was like, you know something, my family is going through a lot right now. Can I get a chance to work online in the West where I have someone I could stay by and save some money? I could do something for my family. Trust me. They were like, no, you cannot be over there. You cannot work. We're just going to give you the time off. I was like, no, but then that doesn't help me. That doesn't help my family, especially given the situation I am in right now. They're like, we could give you we could tell you to go you cannot take the company's laptop a, a whole bunch of stuff as i crying in my eyes like what do i do because it's a lot i had no choice the friday i think the thursday i was like you know something i am getting crazy over here i'm just going to leave this job and i'm going to move without anything i quit my job the friday i got a u-all truck the u-all truck cost me about uh how much I would say roughly around 1500 I'm thinking about there I have a video explaining all that and I drove listen I drove so fast from Toronto and I'm heading to the west I'm like I'm done with the city I'm done I am going and look for a better life for myself and for my family because I cannot afford to the lifestyle that I want to live I don't think Toronto was giving it to me because even though you have twenty, thirty thousand dollars saved, you still have to go in this for certain emergencies. Plus, having a business in Toronto, a lot of people can leave in Toronto. Trust me, a lot of people can leave, but it depends on what lifestyle you are looking for. I am going to now give you my evaluation on my first year moving into Alberta. Do know that I moved in the winter time because one thing I heard about Alberta is that it is too cold for you to live. I am going to give you my evaluation right now.